Um, whiskey do. I'm 25% Scandinavian according to my genetic DNA um, tests. Norwegian and Swedish. Whiskey do. But now we have an Australian queen of Denmark. It's interesting, isn't it? So I'm hoping um, that to celebrate, I'm hoping that Thomas Busk in uh, Denmark is going to celebrate um, his new Australian queen um, by having a live stream, his wall of vinyl live stream with Michael 45 RPM audio file. And on the wall behind him will be a great Australian artist, Rolf Harris, um, uh, Normie Rowe, Ray Brown and the Whispers, etc., etc. Um, yes, uh, so to celebrate my, uh, even though I'm not Danish, I think by being Norwe Norwegian and Swedish, we're sort of like cousins or something. I've only got one Danish record, but fortunately it's an original, the very first pressing, an actual Norwegian pressing of a day Danish uh, record. It's not a particularly good record, but um, this is a gem for me because I um, scored this before I left Sydney. Um, I was going through uh, these bins um, in this record shop and the owner was away and his brother was running the shop and he didn't know anything about records. So when, when I saw this, I just pulled it out from the bins when he wasn't looking, put it up in amongst the other records like Ram by Paul McCartney was one I remember. So I bought that Ram. Um, they didn't have prices on it, you know, like, so I, um, I took Ram up to the counter with this and I was nearly dying. I was nearly shitting my pants, you know, because I wanted this. This is one of the, this was like a, 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 what, a grail, you know, for, for many people. M might still be. It's not a particularly good record. It's got one or two good tracks on it, but it's just uh, the cover or something, you know. It's, a, you know, being Danish, there's even a picture of a bloke's um, penis on this somewhere. Oh, there it is. Look. She's um, giving the guy a, <laughs> a bit of a tug on his wee-wee thing. Um, what time is it? 17th century. <laughs> Isn't that such a cool cover? Um, <clears throat> yeah, anyway, the guy, um, I, I said, oh, I'll take Ram. And I said, I don't know what this is. It, it, I don't, it doesn't look very... And I said, what do you think that is worth? And he's, I think Ram was 10 bucks, which is way overpriced. And um, sorry about the bouncing aftershocks from an earthquake somewhere else around here. But the, um, I, I, I said, well, I'll have a Ram, but I don't know about this. And he said, oh, $10. And I said, oh, I don't know. Oh, all right then. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so Nor Nico Malcolm in, um, from Norway, he doesn't post anymore, uh, okayed this with me. He said, yeah, he said, that's an OG for sure. And it's actually a Norwegian pressing. Isn't that incredible? What an incestuous bunch of Scandinavians we all are. So there's um, the inner... Uh, it's actually got like a booklet thing um, with uh, very heavy, what am I supposed to say? It's very heavy cardboard and, you know, with wordage, as Ben Rankins would say. Um, I think I played it once. It, it was, it's just an icon. And if it didn't have that, that that's the spine. And you know, this one was obviously a reject and it was sent out to Australia. See down there, avant garde, uh, Australia. Um, 
I think they've sent this off to Australia because the spine, this is its one imperfection, instead of being, you know, on the, on the, there, it's, it's been printed flat, as you can see, that that's the front cover, and it's um, overlapping the rear cover by, oh, you know, five millimetres, so to, you know, some creepy crawly, um, um, perfectionist, they'd go, oh, no, it's just not good enough. It's good enough for me. And it's good. And, you know, God bless uh, Queen Mary of Denmark. Mm. 